Let me start this video by saying I'm so excited being back on YouTube. This is the first video that I'll have been posting or this will be the first video that I've posted in almost two months or so. I've started a new job doing a lot of exciting things there. And along the way for that job, I found out some things that have actually worked for me and hopefully will work for you as well. Today, I'm going to be showing you briefly three different ways that you can post to Instagram from your computer. All three ways are completely for free and they're very easy to do. So let's go ahead and dive into the very first one. So we're going to leave Instagram.com and we're going to head over to Hootsuite. Some of you may or may not have heard of Hootsuite before, but it's an amazing program, especially if you're into marketing, managing multiple social media pages and things like that. Or if you just want to manage one page like we're going to talk about today, I'm on the free plan. I don't pay anything at all for this, and I'm able to post to my Instagram from here if I choose to do so. All you do is sign up for a free account, link your Instagram to it, and then you just start posting away. So if we want to do a new post, we just simply click new post. We add our social media network, choose chat every day in this case, type in whatever text that you want to do there. You can add hashtags and actually do mentions to people as well. Now, when you do a mention, so let's go ahead and just do one just for the sake of this. You'll see that it doesn't actually show up with the profile and everything, but when this does get posted to Instagram, you will see that mention in here. So what you'll want to do is just make sure whoever the mention is that you go to their profile just to be sure you have the correct one. What I would recommend doing is just seeing what's up here past Instagram.com and just copying and pasting that and putting it in front of a hashtag. And that's really all you got to do with that one. It's super quick and simple for that. You can also do your hashtags in here and they'll work just fine. Now, when you upload files, you can upload photos or videos. That was something my previous tutorial could not do. But photos have to be less than five megabytes in size. And for videos, it has to be a thousand megs or less in size. So if you just stay within those parameters, your photos and videos will upload just fine. I haven't noticed any issues whatsoever with quality loss uh, versus just uploading straight from my phone. So that's a great thing there. There's also an option for emojis here. You can either click on them just like you would on your phone when you pull that up. You can click on the different categories or you can actually go in and search for something. So if you want to put in a heart, this will bring up any emoji that has to do with a heart. So that's a really cool feature as well. You can add in a location if you want to do that. It's going to give you a live preview of what your photo is going to look like. So that's fantastic. Now, one thing I would like to say to some of you out there, you might want to make sure that your photos are sized correctly prior to doing this in case there's some kind of crop issue. So for example, a landscape photo, you want that to be cropped at a 16 by nine aspect ratio, which I'll show you really quickly is very easy to do. Just click on your little crop tool and whatever editing program that you have, make sure that 16 by nine is selected and then just go ahead and crop the image accordingly. And that's for landscapes. Now, if you wanted to do a vertical photo, you want that to be a four fifths ratio and it'll crop like that and that'll fill the entire screen. Or of course, you can do a one by one crop. So whichever preference that you have for your photo is the best there. Now, the thing about Hootsuite is you can post right away or you can schedule this post to go out later. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. And that's option number one for you. Option number two is Facebook actually has this built into Facebook now. Used to, you could go into Facebook and schedule posts for Facebook pages, but they've also added the option for Instagram as well. What you want to do is search for Facebook Creator Studio, and then just make sure that Instagram is the one selected. Now, the downside to this one is you want to make sure that you have an Instagram page, or you want to make sure you have a Facebook page set up first. So if you're a business and already have a page, this is fantastic. If you're an individual that doesn't have a Facebook page, that's okay because pages are super easy to set up. There's not a lot you have to do and they're free. You never have to share that page to anybody or anything like that. You're just using it to incorporate the Instagram in with Facebook. So now that we have Instagram pulled up, you do the same thing you did on Hootsuite. You create a post. You can send this straight to your Instagram feed, or you can even upload videos to Instagram TV. So I'm just going to click on feed. And if you have multiple accounts, you can click on those. Same deal. You write in your post. You can do up to 30 mentions and 30 hashtags. 
You can add a location. You can play around with different emojis. Of course, you upload your content here, and then you have the option to also post it to Facebook if you want to do that, or you just go ahead and schedule this out or post it now. Pretty much the exact same thing that Hootsuite does. You just have this within Facebook. You can also go in and turn off commenting or tag business partners as well. So that's option number two. Option number three, if you don't want to sign up for all these new accounts and everything, and you're using something like Google Chrome, like I typically do, there's a neat little extension you can add to Chrome called Desktopify. I actually did a video on this about a year or two ago, but the name's changed since then. However, there's a lot of cool features here. So first of all, if you see a photo that you like, you can actually download these photos. Although if you do that, make sure you're not using them or doing anything you should not be doing. You can also click on this link, which will take you to Instagram.com and you can see their profiles and things like that. You can also hit your little plus sign here and start uploading photos, or you can upload videos directly to Instagram TV. Now, again, this app is totally free and you can use it however you like. If you don't like the other two methods, this is a great one to have as well. The cool thing about this one is you can also view your messages, but if you just simply click not now, you can skip that and then just view messages accordingly. So now you can see that I have all my different messages that I've gotten from everybody. You can click on these. You can actually see what the message was. You can reply back to them. You can send photos, hearts, anything you want to do that you would normally do on the app. So this may be the best option for some of you out there. However, there's three great options, all three of which are free. They're very easy to do and they're very handy tools and resources. But if you like today's video and are going to try to utilize one of these resources, be sure to leave a thumbs up on the video to let me know. And I can't wait to see you guys in some more videos in the future. It's been way too long. But that pretty much sums up today's video. And as always, be sure to create something new today.